Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, it's going to be quite the difference from this morning to this afternoon and into the evening hours as a cold front as we're speaking is moving through and that's going to bring some cold air as we head through the afternoon. So we're expecting those temperatures to be falling as we head through today and look at this graphic. There's a, a palette of different colors here, but what it is saying is the temperature change from the last 24 hours where that cold air is moving in. Temperatures are about 35 degrees cooler than where they were at this time yesterday. So that cold front is right here. Terre Haute's already about 12 degrees colder. Off to the east, some warmer air is still around. So what are our temperatures looking like? Well, right now we're in the mid 40s right here in Terre Haute, right around 45 degrees. In the last hour, we have dropped eight degrees and those temperatures will continue to fall as we head through the afternoon. So if you got to get outdoors and you need to maybe go to the store, make sure you're grabbing the heavier jacket now as we head through the remainder of today. 30s off to the west and even the 20s up there in Iowa. That cold air will take over as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So we can expect a cold day here for really a remainder of our seven days. We're also going to be talking about a cold front that is pushing through right now, and that's actually bringing in some precipitation. So not only is it getting colder, we're also going to feel the effect of some light rainfall here across the region. You can see that on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker right now. Uh, taking a look outside in Terre Haute, just a light rain is out there, enough to get the ground wet, but you factor in the wind that is going to be pretty gusty at times for today and the cold air moving in. It's just not going to be a nice afternoon for our Tuesday, especially compared to yesterday where temperatures were in the 60s. Rondrell told me he was playing tennis, so that is not what we'll be seeing for today. We'll be feeling that rain for the afternoon and definitely the colder temperatures as we head through the remainder of our Tuesday. Here's a look at the big shot. Snow off to the north. We just watched that story about Minnesota and how they had some heavy snowfall. We won't tap into that snowfall here, but we'll see that light rainfall as we head through today as that cold front really pushes on through. We're also going to notice some colder air tracking in behind it. Temperatures dropping, yeah, 30 to 20 degrees over the next 24 hours from compared to yesterday. Future cast right around 12 o'clock now. It's uh, pretty consistent to what we saw on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. That rain is moving and tracking off to the east, so expect a rainy and cloudy day for our afternoon. It's going to clear up nicely by the time we get into the evening hours and into the overnight hours, but it is going to be cold outside. Tomorrow morning, temperatures dropping down into the 20s. So waking up tomorrow morning, it's going to stay clear from Paris to Mattoon to Effingham. But when you're sending the kids out to the school bus tomorrow, remember to really bundle them up because temperatures, like I said, are going to be in the 20s. It's going to feel like winter as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Today, temperatures in the 40s. We're already at 45 degrees right now, and uh, we really won't be expecting much of a clear clearance until we get further on into the evening hours. Tonight, falling down to 26 degrees, and it's going to be breezy at times, so factor in the wind, too. Temperatures might feel more like the lower 20s. Here's a seven-day forecast. Look at this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even into Sunday, we are not warming up beyond the 30s. So this is the cold front, guys. This is the cold front that's going to keep us colder all the way through the next seven days, and we might not warm up after that. 33 degrees for a high on Thursday. Friday, sunny, but temperatures in the mid-30s, 33 degrees. A chance for some snowfall come Sunday.